Ian O'Brien from Wise on Live here with Dean Boyd, senior wide receiver and defensive back. Boyd, thank you for coming on, man. No problem. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about these last two weeks. You know, it's been a little uh, shaky, as we could say. In fact, you know, a 49-14 loss to St. Vincent St. Mary, and then, of course, the 46-28 loss to Phil Angelo St. Joseph. What have you guys all worked on those past two weeks? Um, so I think these last two weeks have been crucial for us and um, talking as growing as a team, um, I think, through adversity. Um, a team like us, we're, we're a great group of guys. We're going to grow from it. We're going to learn from it. And uh, this upcoming week, we have East. So um, that's a great opportunity for us to bounce back and just put lay the hammer down, put 50 on them, and uh, you know, bounce back, gain that confidence back, and just keep rolling up into up to playoffs through the state championship, hopefully get a win. And um, just looking, on, looking forward to bouncing back. Now let's actually flash back a little bit now, way back to your freshman year in 2018. You've definitely come a long way. Uh, you know, it started off, I know, a little slow years freshman year and then it, uh, basically you know it's become a winning team again you guys have brought back the winning program especially you uh, for your role here what have you said was a big change um, I'd say one of the biggest changes is, um, I think it's a pretty obvious change around here is in the coaching staff um, that change from uh, Kemp to Reardon I think uh, coach Reardon and this new staff he's brought in has um, been extremely beneficial to not only myself but um, a lot of my friends on this team um, and the team as a whole um, great guys they really care about you um, Personally, um, I know everyone on a personal level, and I think that's a huge thing in uh, getting to grow as a team is knowing each other, know your strengths, know your weaknesses, because you're only as strong as the weakest link on your team. So um, just um, you know, creating bonds between us, I think that's been huge, and I think they're, they do a great job for us, so very grateful for them. Of course, you're one of the star receivers in the area, as we all know that. Uh, what made you want to play wide receiver? Um, so when growing up, I was a running back. Um, always been with Brady. He was my quarterback. He'd hand me the ball off pretty much every play, we'd have a blast. Um, growing up, I slowly began to, you know, get a little taller up to that six, six foot-ish point, um, starting in high school. So I realized, you know, I'm growing out of that running back position. I got to start, you know, looking for a different one. Uh, wide receiver fit me well, um, running routes, catching the ball, something I've always been considered myself being uh, very, very good at. So um, just kind of fit right in and um, I've had a lot of fun with it. I think I'm good where I'm at. Um, you know, I'm open to doing whatever in college. I'll gain weight, play a different position, but wide receiver, I've had a lot of fun at, so looking forward yeah, to Of course, we've seen the progress that you made a wide receiver throughout your years here at Ursuline, especially this year. Uh, last year, of course, you know, it was definitely tough. You know, you had a gruesome injury, and then you've definitely bounced back from that. Uh, just talk about what's been like bouncing back from that and basically, you know, possibly finishing your whole season out. So that injury was, it was a bit, had a big impact on my life. Um, I was being out for you know, four months sitting on a couch, it just kind of sidelined me. I never knew if I, you know, would really get back to playing to my full potential again. So just kind of battling that, that mental barrier I set for myself in my head, I think made my, not only physically stronger, but mentally. And, um, you know, being able to watch myself grow from that, uh, just going to physical therapy, realizing that, you know, I'm going to be better. I'm going to give out, go out there this season and give it all I got and um, prove myself, um, have an opportunity to prove myself. So that's what I'm working on doing right now. Is proving myself as you know this kid you know he's not just good because he's tall and uh can jump high he's actually a, a great kid a great athlete um does the little things right and i think that's a really important thing for me to do is uh do all those little things because uh, they all they all matter they all build up uh for one greater goal so yep always the best thing right there dean i'll talk about real quick after bishop harley that big shootout win that you guys had 62 58 it was announced that you in fact end up committing to heart to a harvard of course you know, over schools like that got you other Ivy League schools, schools like Princeton, over schools at like Youngstown State, the academies, Bucknell. What made you want to choose Harvard? Um, so what separated Harvard from the other schools that were recruiting me, offered me, was, um, like I said before, those bonds I had with the coaches and the players. Um, I went up there for a camp up in uh, Massachusetts. And um, just, you know, I went for a camp. They took me on a tour after. Um, got to know a lot of the players, a lot of the coaches. Um, sat down with them for, you know, over two hours, and I just got to know them personally. And it felt like I was talking to, you know, like a second family of mine. So, so I guess that family aspect is a big thing for me. And I think I felt that there more than any other school, um, you know, as, as well as I, I believe I'll be, a, you know, a great success for my family. Uh, you know, all my work will pay off there. Um, getting a degree from there is, a, we know, very beneficial for me. So um, that's what I was really focusing on. Um, not only athletics, but academics was a big thing for me. So that's, they all played a role. Academics definitely a big thing. Talk about real quick a little bit. What's it been like balancing, you know, all those classes at the Harvard? What do you take along with uh, your football time? Um, so you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I think they're, they're these classes I'm taking. They're preparing me for Harvard. I think I'm doing a great job with them so far. 
Um, I think another thing is, uh, you know, going to Harvard, telling everyone I go to Harvard, they, uh, there's just this, this assumption set on me that, you know, this kid has to be one of the smartest kids around. And um, what I tell them is, you know, I, I'm pretty smart. I'm, a, you know, I'm always, I've always been, you know, top of my class somewhere around there. But um, I think what separates me is my, my work ethic. And I think, you know, if I'm smart enough for Harvard, if I'm not, I'll know, I'll know I'll work hard enough for it. And uh, I think that's, that's, that's all that matters. I know a lot of people, uh, you know, they'll be like, uh, I'm not sure if Dean's gonna like thrive there at Harvard, but uh, I think I will because, um, you know, a lot of the people who don't believe in me, that's my motivation. And, uh, you know, I hear a lot of that, like how, Dean, how are you gonna do it? How are you gonna do this? I don't think you can do that. I think that's just the reason why I'm gonna be so successful there and I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, this week you can have a lot more success too, but it's a big time opponent. Of course, the East Golden Bears, you know, last year you guys beat them pretty, pretty well. The year before that, you know, went to OT with East winning. And of course, you know, the freshman year, they won as well. Uh, new East team, I would say, you know, it's definitely a rebuild. Uh, what have you guys seen from them? Um, so, so far, we've, we've been watching film. Um, we're not underestimating any team we play. We take every game very seriously. So we're looking to go in there and just, you know, beat them down just the best we can. And, um, you know, look really looking forward to it. I think our guys are going to bounce back from these past two losses. Um, I think they were very necessary for us to uh, to thrive from, to grow from. And, you um, just um, really excited to play. And finally, Dean, I ask all the seniors this, and now it's your turn to ask you this. When you leave Ursuline, of course, you know, we graduate, but also after the football season, what do you want to be remembered as? Um, I want to be remembered as a kid who would always fight through any adversity that came his way. Um, no matter what was happening in his life, he kept going and, you know, was growing from all these things that were negatively impacting his life. And, um, I want to be remembered as a leader. I think that's one of the biggest things. Uh, being a team captain on my football team, that's a huge aspect for me, especially, you know, going into a school like Harvard. I need to be a leader. I need to be social. I need to be able to interact with people, um, whether it's adults, kids, uh, kids my age, uh, just children, some stuff like that. So um, I'd say that's, that about sums it up. All right, everyone. Thank you. Thank you right there, Dean. Definitely appreciate that. That's Dean Boyd, everyone. Number one, wide receiver and DB for the Arsenal Irish. Thank you.